Hey everybody, welcome to the Hopcast. Oh, thanks for joining us today, everybody. Right, I'm Brad Chmielewski. My name is Ken Hunnameter. Special guest. We got a special guest. I have to introduce myself. Yeah, go for Where's it. the budget? No, there's no lower third yet. Oh, it's there. It's coming here. It's <laughs> Anthony Stagno. <Yeah. laughs> right. well, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, fellas. Yeah, uh, Anthony is is quite the craft beer drinker. Uh, knows quite a bit. I, I'm pretty sure he has beernews.org tattooed on his brain. Uh, so, um, yeah. So thank you so much for coming along. Hey, my pleasure. And thank also sure. for. Uh, we're bringing a, quite a lovely beer that we're going to be drinking. I'm happy for you guys to have it. It's a, it was a long, long time want of mine, and this year they were able to ship to Illinois, and I got a half a case, and time to share the love. You so know, we're, right. I don't want to just buy it a hoard. Let's, let's, so we're talking <laughs> let's about it around. The Pelican Brewing Perfect Storm. And dun, so, dun, dun. so we get some of the Pelican stuff here on shelf, like you can pick it up, right? I actually, I, I'm not sure if you do. Oh, I thought I've I seen don't, I don't, one or two. No, maybe not. Th- this one, yeah, they're they're out of Oregon. I, I don't believe they they uh, distribute outside of Oregon. I'll have to fact check. Okay. But uh, there there is some, you know, it was a big big thing in the West Coast. But it it, it you know it was one of those word of mouth beers that all the geeks started talking about. I, okay. I, and I'm not sure when the first release was, but the 08 was the one that really started getting the ball rolling. Um, then they released on their website that the 09 was coming out and to pre-order, and I had that, that website booked for at least three months. <laughs> and they started taking pre-orders uh, on Darkness Day, which was the 24th of October, I believe. And I actually uh-huh. ordered my case on my cell phone while waiting in line for my favorite beer, <laughs> which almost turned into my second favorite beer after I had my first one of these. So I'm really <laughs> excited to uh, Man, you're, you're talking have it you up here. <laughs> it's, it's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. It's, it's very hot. It, it'll probably stay and just get better and better and better for years to come, but we don't have that time. No, no. We, this we is have... only a 20-minute show. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, so we got it slightly chilled. Just a bit. It's a, it's what you a need? bourbon barrel-aged barley wine. So, and, yeah, um, just a, a touch of The label chilled. doesn't turn uh, blue. No, it's no. Not, we, know, we know when to drink it. Is alcohol <laughs> like 14? I believe it's around in the 12 to 14 percent range, okay. so it will floor you. Okay. So, <laughs> Even distributions, take your time with it, enjoy it. Let's well, do it. Let's okay. pour that out and yeah, talk I'm, some more. Yeah, let's do that, <laughs> absolutely. So right away, that aroma. Whew. Yeah, uh, I pretty much popped the cap off of it and a, a, a splash of bourbon hit me right in the face. So uh, I think this is going to be quite hot, quite nice. It was when I when I had this the first time, right when I got it off the uh, off the truck. It wasn't now hot isn't isn't the way I would normally I, I would normally describe a lot of beers as hot. This is was more green. Okay. It needed time to come together in the okay. bottle. Now it's about three months later, and I haven't had it since, so I'm very you know, very curious to see how it how it has come okay. together. Um, but it's gonna be hot, being this high alcohol. Yes. And with f- bourbon, so. But if you're expecting it and you wear short sleeves, uh, you know we're we're in we're in good shape. <laughs> no danger of Brad nipping out on this one. <laughs> no, but it, it poured out kind of thin, like a lighter color. But it is mm-hmm. a what would say English style barley wine. Yeah, there's not there, you don't uh, detect detect too many hop aromas coming off of it. It's more of a malty. English style barley wine. Certainly, there's there's bourbon there, without a doubt. Um, and woody. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe like a wet wood, kind of. For sure, but it's like it's rounded. It's nice. It's it's very balanced. I mean, it. it you know, it's going to be pretty damn complex when you finally taste the thing. Speaking of which, well, let's <laughs> cheers. Thank you. Right up. Cheers to you, sir. Wow. It has come together quite nicely, yeah, actually, in the three it? months. There, there is not a whole lot of um, a medicinal burn to it like I used to have. Mm-mm. Now, obviously, if you... I, I drank the first bottle by myself. Because that's what, <laughs> if I'm paying two forty dollars for a case... <laughs> if you're listening, Pelican... Shut up! No, it's a fair price. It's a fair price. We got a case discount. It was nice. Um, <laughs> by the end of it, I was feeling pretty fine. Yeah, I, you know, I, I would imagine so. Um, 
but yeah, it, it takes a few sips to get into it. But I mean, there's just flavor, flavors that keep coming out and coming out and coming out the further you go along in the bottle. It's uh, immensely intense and complex, for sure. It's very woody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, there's some some burnt characteristics to it, like you know some char. I, there's something in there. I'm trying to figure out what it. I guess it could be the wood, but I get a like a heated or a burnt taffy apple yeah. characteristic to it. I, I wanted to say like an sugar apple, but yeah. Maybe some. I, I maybe the hint, like the slightest hint of maybe like cotton candy or something that when when it starts to taste a little when you've had too much, uh -huh. but you want to keep eating it. Because it is, it is sweet. It's very sweet. Yeah, right. And I think the more I drink it, actually, the more the more that burn is, is kind of just like, it doesn't hit you. It just kind of like coats you and warms you up all at once, you know? Yeah. And so it's like, a, it's a slow burn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Once your mouth's coated, you're like, okay, now I can get into this. and yeah, More so out of any barrel-aged barley wine I've had, this one is pretty drinkable right away. Usually you want to yeah. sit on those things for years and... <clears throat> um, yeah, I've never had Wooden Hell by Flossmore, but I hear this is very similar to that. Um, but the the Cunin barrel aged barley wine is so hot coming out of the bottle. Yeah, I never it, had it, that. It's one. almost unapproachable for at least a year. Uh, but this one, it, you know, you, you can do it. You can do it right away if you're not a patient man like me. But it's good, you know. That's always my problem. Yeah, it's. If it's cellarings for punks, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But it would be good. I did. I, I'm trying to save one for next year to do a side by side. Sure. Since the 08 is very hard, impossible to get at this point. So might as well start with where you can start. Right. Yeah. To buy a few, just, save up, and maybe mm -hmm. 11 or 12. You'd be like, well, I got the 09. <laughs> We're doing fine. It, the uh, the guys I talked to at Pelican, they were all very very nice people, and they're very ecstatic about how how this beer is, is pretty much going to take their brewing to another level mm -hmm. they're being nationally recognized now and, and they're very gracious people and it's great i mean i love when good people that make good beer take off can't get much better than that no you can't no you cannot and it's nice that they decided to do a big barley wine versus everyone's on the russian imperial bandwagon at mm -hmm. the moment right it's their it's their big release and yeah, they're, they're doing something different, and it's it's fantastic. <laughs> well, I say we snuggle on up here, yeah. finish these off, and I think we'll be back with us something you might be interested in. All right, let's let's hug. Let's all do this. <laughs> all right, welcome back. Oh uh, yeah, the the perfect storm. Perfect. We we savored for a while. We sat and we talked, and it yeah, you know, it was great. Um, we solved all the world's ills. Yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All answers have become clear after that beer. <laughs> but the, there's another mountain that we have to climb. Right. And, uh, <laughs> and I, I feel like it's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> right, so we have the brewery Black Tuesday. Yeah, and uh, so I can hear you all screaming out there right now. and <laughs> Swooning. Yeah. <laughs> Frothing. Um, we've heard the rumors. I mean, this, supposedly this is 19.5 or something percent. I uh, heard the rumors that maybe it's not so, but we're not, we're not those science. We don't types. judge. We, can't. <laughs> we don't judge. Yes. We will tell you whether it's good or not. We don't drink out of beakers. We drink out of <laughs> tulip glasses. So, yeah. I've got one in the back if you really want to. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this one might take take some getting into. It's uh, this one's been, you know, as you can see, or maybe you can't because it's black on black, but it's it's been waxed, and um, yeah, I've been looking forward to this one. It's been pretty hyped up. Right, and it runs about thirty dollars a bottle. So okay. I traded a couple mm -hmm. darknesses for it, and we'll see if it lives up to two darknesses. And <laughs> let's hope so. It's a steep price. <laughs> All right, I'm sure it will. Let's do this. Yeah, let's crack it open. So that poured out a lot thicker than the perfect storm. Yeah, this is uh, for sure. I mean, its its stoutiness showed its its hand right away. Um, this is an imperial stout, aged in bourbon barrels for one year. Right. I can't see my hand. <laughs> it's 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 a Russian imperial dark, perfect opaque black. We might not be able to it's see our beautiful. hands like this. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful <laughs> looking beer. It's a beautiful smelling beer. Yeah, the, yeah. the uh, aroma is quite pungent. It's. Uh, a smack in the face for sure. Yeah, if we thought the aroma was big on the perfect storm, this 
I is think it, it's it is, it's Tuesday, yeah. said I got I got another another thing to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, apples and oranges. So we, yeah. I think, I think it's the, uh, I mean, it's it's two big heavy hitters that you want to, yeah. two prize ponies that you oh, want yeah. in a match race. And we were saying, we're smelling it. We're like, I don't know if we, we can even drink it. It's just like. <laughs> If you drink it, yeah, this is one of then those it's moments. not the same the second. It's the yeah. crossroads right here. <laughs> this is all new to us. Like so said, you, can never, we... you can never have it again for the first time. Well, certainly bourbon up front. but uh, It's, it's cho- um, tons of chocolate. You know what it, it reminds me of is a, like a bourbon brownie batter. Hmm. Almost. Is that it, how you make your brownies at home? <laughs> go to your place. Let's do this. <laughs> it's legal that way. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's very. It, it smells. It does smell like cake mix or brownie mix to me. Yeah. Decadent. Thick. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Let's let's do it. Let's yeah. go. Cheers. All right. It'll never happen unless we just do it. Cheers, gentlemen. Wow. Well, <laughs> it is so smooth. It's insanely smooth. I don't know that this is 19%. If it is, it's hiding it very well. Yeah, I, I can hardly imagine oh. how they would hide that. But um, there's like there's no burn. Maybe in the finish a tad? There's but... hardly any. I don't get much. I actually don't get much at all. And again, that we had beforehand <laughs> yeah. that, that numbed us yeah. out of hair, but <laughs> I don't get a whole hell of a lot at no. all burn. No, this is, is very smooth, very very velvety. It does, I mean, it does have, uh, even, even pre-bottling has an, a, a year on it, you yeah. know. So that's something. It is, I have a sweet tooth. This is very sweet. Uh-huh. That I think if you, if you like your, your RIS is a little straightforward, this might be a little off-putting to you. It's right up my alley. Yeah, but it doesn't have as much cherry, raspberry as Dark Lord does. No. So, it's not that... Sweet. It's not like a no, 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 a no fruit not sweet. at all. It's it's, it's a, a sugar. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It also doesn't have the uh, the crazy body and syrupy texture that that the the Dark Lord does. This one's a uh, just a little bit less viscous, I would say. But there are some dark fruit characteristics for sure. I mean, it's definitely worth spending a day in line <laughs> to get a handful of bottles, and uh, I thank you for. Making the move uh, yeah, to uh, procure said beverage. Uh, cheers, yeah. And so, and um, the breweries out there in Orange County, yeah, correct? Orange County for sure. You could mm-hmm. do, you could do worse. <laughs> <laughs> and they're pretty. See, new. All the housewives are out yeah. there, like waiting in line on a Tuesday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Speaking of which, you told us uh, kind of what the the lore was of the naming of this beer. Yes, yeah, so if I if I remember this correctly, there was a. And please don't 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 flame us if if if, if this is if this is a little wrong. But I, if I remember correctly, there was he was uh, Patrick who I can I, I don't know his last name. Patrick Brew. Patrick Brew. Yeah. Yeah. He was brewing a an imperial stout, and I believe one of the tanks malfunctioned, and there was a big loss of of, of beer of life. <laughs> and they took a picture of it, and I think they posted, it, and they said, "Oh God, look at this! This is look at this fallen soldier." And I believe it happened on a Tuesday, and. There might have been a contest going on at the same time. It might have come a little before, come a little later. But you know, what what should I name this beer? And it turned out that they one guy had had written in and said, "I would like to you know, how about Black Tuesday?" You know, because this accident happened on a Tuesday. But of course, the, the lore of the uh, the Great Depression. Um, but it's it's cool that uh, the brewery is very active in the online community. Yeah, they reach out. Um, Patrick himself, I know, is a very active member on, on, on the sites, and he's approachable. I mean, that, that's that, that's what it's all about. You know, he, he, yeah. he understands what his target is. Um, he's just not he's just not a, a face behind a label. He's he's a, he's out there. He's mm-hmm. he's doing everything right. Um, we're we're starting to get brewery beers here in Illinois, right? Which is fantastic. This yeah. will, we will never see. <laughs> Unfortunately, because it is a, at least at this point, because it is a special brewery only release. But uh, you know, they're 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 aces at, at that place. They're they're yeah, they're really they're bringing it for being so young. I think they had brewers only twenty five or twenty three. Like, is that he's, right? He's young. No, so. I mean I, I've I think I want to say I've had maybe five. This may be the sixth uh, beer, and I, I feel fortunate for that. Uh, but everyone has just been 
outstanding. Like they're really producing some quality beverages out there. <laughs> this tastes like a, a bona fide. I'm making this for winter. Yeah. You yeah. know, get some fires on the or get some logs on the fire and let's let's talk about things. I, I can't was, imagine people out in Orange <laughs> County drinking this. You know. <laughs> you know what? They've been they've probably the been clamoring for it. You know, and they're supporting the brewery, and that that's fantastic. And so this they're doing things. This came out in October, so had a little bit of time to sit, but not that much. So it's uh, man, I'm well rounded and everything. Um, Again, it's it is very much. sweet. Yeah, it is very sweet. But if you like sweets, like I do, <laughs> this is right in your wheelhouse. Yeah, it's um, one of those styles that's it's lacking in in the uh, super hop bite. It's more of like a, a the on the malty yeah. side of things. That's that's you don't okay. need it. You don't need it. They're, that's they're, okay. they're going their own way. Let them go. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah, Anthony, for coming. For hey guys. Um, thanks for bringing the beer. Happy to share. And thanks for having me. And thanks for sharing on your end. And Absolutely. let's do this again sometime. Absolutely. Let's bring it right here. Oh. This is